Hi, I'm Melissa with Maka Movement, and today is day 14 of your 30-day yoga challenge. We are going to be working on an arm balance today called Crow Pose or Kakasana. Um, it's also called Crane Pose or Bakasana. So it requires a lot of core strength and a lot of shoulder strength, as well as just an idea of how your body fits in space. So what you'll be needing, if you have uh, some kind of a playground ball, any kind of a ball, um, or we could use a block, it's to get our inner thighs, our adductors working, as well as a block or a stack of books, okay? So what we're gonna do first is start to get this flexion in our spine, this rounded feeling in our spine. You'll take this ball and put it between your inner thighs. That's gonna get my adductors to work. Then I'll reach my arms forward. So I'm sliding my shoulder blades down my back, starting to get this warm feeling in my belly, right? Kind of my abs are kicking in. And then lean back slightly, and then raise your legs. Good, so now your legs are up, we're balancing. I want you to put some pressure on that ball, so your adductors, get those inner thighs really working, starting to squeeze together. So when we're in our curve, when we're actually on our hands here, it's the same kind of motion. I want you to get this feeling of, oh, pulling the knees in, release an inch. Pull your knees in, release an inch. Now your arms can be straight while we're here, or if you wanted to start working on some wrist flexion here. Make the number 11 with your middle fingers. Okay, so pull the knees in, release slightly. Pull your knees in, release slightly. Shoulder blades down your back. Pull in, release slightly. And then pull in, just hold it here. See if you can get your knees above your elbows. That's it. We're holding one, two, three, four, five, Release lower down, good. Now we're going to come back a little bit more. So I want you to hollow out your navel. We're still squeezing that ball in, getting your core to be nice and active. Now I'm just holding here, getting my inner thighs to feel strong. Hold one, two, three, four. Good work, and five. And then sit up nice and tall. Good, now round back, shoulder blades down. Fingers toward the sky. Make the number 11 with your middle fingers. Raise those legs up. Find your balance. See if you can get your knees up a little higher toward your armpits. Hold one, two. Bring your big toes together. Three, four, five. Release down. Do that again. Lift those knees up high. Get them up toward the outside, right around your triceps. One, two, three, four, Five, so we're building strength in our hip flexors, our inner thighs, and our core. Last time holding here, one, two, three, four, five, release lower down. Now you can take your feet to the floor, but I actually want you to keep your big toes touching each other. We still have that ball there. Lean back a little bit more, hollow out your navel, slide your shoulder blades down your back, start to squeeze the ball. So here, inner thighs have to be working. So when we're in our arm balance, if my inner thighs aren't on, will slide right off our elbows. And then it's a little face plant, but we'll do a little face plant. So here we need those inner thighs to be really strong, okay? Just another couple of breaths. Good. All right, and then sit up nice and tall. Okay, so now move that block, the ball, out of the way. Roll back again. Arms come up. So now just raise one knee up to your armpit. Hold it, one, two, toes are pointed, three, four, five, lower down. Good, other leg comes up, one, two, so I'm at a slight angle, three, four, five, lower down. Back to the left side, lift up, one, two, three, four, five, lower down. Arms stay shoulder distance apart, one, Two, three, four, five, lower down, left side. Each time we're getting our knee higher up toward where our triceps start. Two, three, four, five, release. Right side, one, two, three, keep your shoulder blades down. Four, five, and release. Good, nice. So now you should feel nice and warm, right? Core is tight, adductors are working. We get this idea of flexion in our spine, so a rounded thoracic spine here. Okay, so now I want you to roll forward. Keep your feet down on the ground, round, and see if you can bring your knees just outside your armpits, okay? We're just holding here. One, two, toes are still pointed. Three, four, five, then roll up. 
Roll back down. One, two, three. Draw your belly in. Four, five. Roll up. One more time. One. Now my, I'm not letting my knees flop out to the side. Keep your inner thighs working. Your knees are pulling in, digging into your triceps. Four, five, and roll up. Okay, so now when we first start bringing our hands down to the floor, we can start with a perch. So we are imagining we're these big birds. Okay, so we'll take our feet onto the block. Your heels squeeze together, your toes are slightly apart. So this is gonna give us some height. Get this rounding, this hollowed out belly. Make the number 11 with your middle fingers. Your hands are shoulder distance apart. Squeeze your elbows back toward your feet. So they can't come out to the sides. They need to be tight. Shoulders strong. Lift your knees up. Place them just outside your armpit, just outside the triceps. And then round forward. So here my spine is still flexed. I look up toward the front of the mat. Good. And raise your feet up. Maybe one. Right? We can start with one. Heel to butt. And then the other. Heel to butt. Maybe both. Heel to butt. Hold. One. Press into your finger pads. Two. Three. Keep flexing your spine. Keep looking forward. Four. Five. Take your feet back to the block. Now, if your elbows, if you feel like you were sliding down and your face was getting closer and closer to the floor, make sure those elbows are pulling back. Okay? So again, knees up into the armpits. Make the number 11 with your middle fingers. Push into your finger pads and your thumb. Round forward. So my spine is flexed. Head comes up. Heels lift. One, two, three. Make sure your elbows face back. You can start to straighten your arms. Four, if you're working there. Otherwise, keep them bent. Five, lower down. So now once you're ready to get rid of the block, exact same thing. This just acts like a perch, okay? So turn those elbows back. Make sure your core is nice and warm. Number 11, with your middle fingers. Round forward. Head comes up. Raise your heels, one at a time or both at the same time. Keep lifting your heels all the way up to your butt. Lift higher, higher, higher. We can start to straighten your arms. Keep your spine flexed, keep your belly in. You should feel your quads and your hip flexors, inner thighs work hard. Four, five, release lower down. Good, one more time, elbows back. Knees high up into your armpits. Round your back. Find your drishti, your focal point. So it's probably gonna be something up toward the front of your mat because we want our heads to be up. Okay, a little cervical extension. One, two, three, four, and five, then from here you can hop back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hop to your knees. All right, so keep practicing that and I will see you tomorrow. Great work today. Namaste.